few years ago it seemed like the video editing industry reached its peak capabilities, primarily competing in the realm of preset library sizes and video effects, but the rapid development of AI entered the video editing sphere as well, and now the race has begun anew. In this review we will examine Winx Video AI, a revolutionary product from DigiArty, known for its solutions in audio and video. Winx Video AI is an all-in-one solution for quick video editing, which offers a limited free version or can be purchased for a lifetime for $49.95, one year for $25.95, or at a discount of over 50% via the link below this video. Whether you're a blogger, a sports enthusiast with a GoPro, or simply video enthusiast, Winx Video AI proposes a simple interface that allows you to enhance videos just in a few clicks. The program menu consists of several modules. It includes time-tested features such as screen recording or video conversion, but image AI and video AI for automatic media processing stand out separately. The converter offers 11 audio formats, including popular ones like MP3 and WAV, as well as more specific ones like OGG and AC3. As for video formats, there are several dozen available, not counting variations with different codecs. In particular, the most popular formats like MP4, MOV, and MKV are supported with H.264 and the rarer HEVC stream encoding. Additionally, conversion to six formats for 4K screens and NTSC and PAL DVD video profiles is available too. Customization is available for all formats, allowing you to adjust the audio and video tracks of your file by tweaking bitrate, aspect ratio, codec, sound channels, and other options. Also, you can use automatic parameter selection for the output file, whether it's quality or required file size. For adapting videos to specific devices, there are presets tailored to manufacturer's recommendations, Vendors include Apple, Samsung, Sony, and social networks such as Facebook, YouTube, or Vimeo. By the way, if you switch to the Toolbox tab in the conversion presets, you can access tools for basic video editing such as Trim and Merge, as well as less popular options like Mirror, Flip, and Rotate. Here you'll also find features for taking screenshots, adapting 3D videos for regular screens, exporting subtitles, removing red eye and lens distortion effects. Screen Recorder, a particularly useful tool, especially for bloggers and those recording video tutorials, is the Screen Recorder. With it, you can record your computer screen or specific parts of it. It also supports multiple monitors, has a built-in auto-scaler, and allows cropping the capture area. Among extra features, it's worth noting the ability to simultaneously record from the webcam and the desktop, as well as support for recording audio from the system or an external microphone. Formatting options for the resulting recording file are limited. However, you can adjust the audio level, video stream format, and hotkey settings for controlling the recording process and accessing the drawing panel. Now, let's take a closer look at the key features related to AI. So what can the AI algorithm in Winx Video AI do and how does it work? Our tests have shown that this algorithm is embedded within the program, making it static and not requiring constant internet access. However, as it continues to improve, I recommend regularly checking for updates to your program, which is only available in the full version. By the way, below the video, you'll find a link where you can purchase the full version at a 57% discount, giving you access to regular free updates and removing the five minute video duration limit and forced watermark. The AI algorithm has three main directions where it can be used, video repair, stabilization, and enhancement. Video repairing is often required due to low quality cameras or poor compression algorithms during processing. In the former case, it often looks as dots or damaged pixels on the screen, known as noise or artifacts. In the latter, it leads to the appearance of vertical lines or pixels known as interlacing and blurring respectively. Such problems usually arise when working with older videos recorded before the full HD format became popular. Video stream stabilization is required when the video is inconvenient to watch due to defects in the shooting process. 
This often happens when the subject moves too quickly or the camera is improperly focused, resulting in blurry or poorly distinguishable movements such as a poorly captured fast-moving car recorded by a cheap camera. However, the most common problem requiring stabilization is improperly fixed cameras, causing the video to shake. This also applies to extreme shots taken with a GoPro or drone, and in Wink's video, improvement video means scaling the video to a higher resolution and increasing the frame rate. Key characteristics that affect visible quality. The higher the frame rate per second, the smoother the movements will appear in the video. For example, the famous Hollywood technique of bullets flying out of a firing gun requires special cameras capable of recording hundreds of frames per second. For ordinary shots, 24 frames per second are typically used, which Wink's video can increase to 60. The same algorithm is used in image AI, but in the case of photos, it automatically performs color correction and improves image sharpness. It can also perform upscaling, increasing the image size while correcting any artifacts that may occur. I couldn't overlook such a promising list of features, so in the next part of the video, you'll see real tests and use cases of the program. Use Cases Winks Video AI is suitable for solving most problems that appear when working with video files. Nevertheless, I decided to test its effectiveness in the most typical use cases. Case 1. Reducing File Size For reducing file size, I will use a video converter. Now, let's add this small video, sized at 16 MB, into Winx Video AI. Then I navigate to the conversion settings where the mode with the smallest file size is already selected. If you move this slider, you'll see how the expected file size changes from 10 MB to almost 23 MB. Let's return the slider to its original position, save the options, and start the conversion. In my case, it only took a few seconds, after which the folder with the new version of the file opened. Let's open the file and see that the quality of the video recording has slightly decreased, losing some sharpness in the lines. However, the resulting file only occupies 1.4 mndalobis, which is 10 times smaller than the estimated size. Case 2. Basic Video Editing now, let's try to perform some video editing operations. For example, let's cut out a fragment from this video and join the remaining fragments into a new file. To do this, I'll choose the cut option and leave only the first two seconds of the file. As you can see, Winx Video has already remembered this fragment as a new track. Now, let's select another two seconds at the end of the file and we have two video fragments. Keep in mind that before rendering, you can set the order of recording these fragments into the new file. Let's wait a moment and then open the new file. As you can see, the splice of the fragments is noticeable before the third second. With the duration of the file being only four seconds instead of the original 10, Case 3. Increase FPS and smooth playback. As I mentioned earlier, the higher the frame rate of the video, the smoother and more stable its playback. For this case, I have prepared a special video with low GOP and FPS. Key parameters for smooth video playback. Although at first glance this video appears normal, if you look closely at the riverbanks, you'll notice that the video plays back in a choppy manner, similar to a resource demanding video game on an outdated computer. If you encounter such problems with games, update your hardware or change graphic settings. But if similar issues arise with video files, then use the video AI module with the frame interpolation feature. It automatically adds missing frames to the video to correct such problems. Let's start processing the file and wait for the end. As you may have noticed, there is an option to increase the FPS several times and add slow motion effects and optimize scene processing. Use them to achieve the desired quality, but keep in mind that each of them affects the duration of video processing. Our video is ready, so let's play it. As you can see, the effect has disappeared and the camera moves smoothly along the riverbanks without artifacts. However, note that the file size has increased from 7 to 25 MB, and the result video became blurry. Case 4 Video Stabilization To demonstrate how video stabilization works, I've taken this video of a short drone flight, captured by the same drone. 
As you can see, the vibrations from the propellers are poorly compensated for, resulting in a shaky camera effect. Let's add this video to the program and launch the stabilization feature with default settings. But first, let's use the analysis option to see how the file will look after processing. By the way, preview is available for all features in this module, as well as adjusting the before and after screen ratio. The conversion also proceeded quite quickly, so let's play the new file. As you can see, the drone flight appears smoother, and the visible oscillations are now related to the object being filmed rather than the drone operator. If needed, you can repeat this operation for the newly created file to further improve the achieved result. Case 5 upscaling. The test video from the previous use case has a resolution of 1280x720, which corresponds to just HD quality. Winx Video AI can increase the video resolution by two or three times, which would correspond to full HD or 4K resolution respectively. Let's try to achieve the maximum quality and choose the three-fold upscaling option. This operation was the most time-consuming of all, but the result is now ready. As you can see, the upscaling was successful and most importantly, it did not lead to the appearance of artifacts. Additionally, it did not interfere with image stabilization, which we made together with upscaling in this case. This function is perhaps the most interesting in Wings video as it combines automatic video enhancement functions and allows you to make it suitable for viewing on widescreens. But for the completeness of the test, I also decided to check how the second super resolution mode called anime works. As you can see, after processing, in most cases, it affects the color balance of the image, making the colors more saturated and vibrant. Accordingly, this mode is best used for working with videos with poor lighting or requiring color correction. Previously, this would have taken several hours in a professional video editor, adjusting the color balance, but with Winx video, it's just a couple of clicks, and it does it all for you. Case 6. Restoring Low Quality Images The primary purpose of Winx Video AI is video enhancement, yet its algorithm is also adapted for images. To test this feature, let's take a screenshot from a low quality video. As you can see, its original size is only 400x250, and when enlarged, pixel artifacts appear. Let's place this image in the program and try to get the maximum effect from its AI algorithms. We'll set a 4x enlargement and activate the high quality engine. Upon completion, we obtained an image with dimensions of 1920 1008, which roughly corresponds to the full HD video format. As you can see, the algorithm removed artifacts and noise, making the transitions between objects smoother. The image is not ideal according to modern photo standards, but such a result is much better than some online photo editors that use trained neural models. Do you think Winx Video AI is one of the new generation of video editors, or just another program in a new shell with AI prefix? The program is optimized for CPU operation, but the most optimal and fastest AI operations are performed using hardware acceleration which requires a compatible video card. In addition, Winx Video is a versatile audio and video converter with a wide range of presets for different devices and basic video editing capabilities. The program has a built-in screen recorder and other useful utilities. It is truly a Swiss army knife for video work and you can buy it with a good discount at the link in the description.